Sometimes certain things need to happen to get things right. That's what happened to me, and, and here I am. 60 Gs, baby! I achieved it all, right? We're not here just to take part. We're here to take over. I broke the game before I was 30 years of age. You can call me Mystic Mike because I predict these things. There is only one Conor McGregor. He is your new featherweight champion. I'm a baby, you did it! The money, the fame, the belts, all of this. The first man ever to hold two titles simultaneously. I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. What then to motivate me? Follow me. I'm doing everything I could possibly do to be the best fighter I can be. I'm showing up every day, I'm pushing myself, I'm sacrificing. I push my cardio harder than I ever have. I think I'm in the best shape of my life. I want to improve so much and accomplish so many more things. The perseverance I've had to show to get to this point is a part of that story of being the best. I would like to announce now we got a deal done. Dustin Poirier will be rematching Conor McGregor. On January 23rd, it is officially done. In the main event of UFC 257. In Abu Dhabi, UAE. You seem to have many options. Why him? We've had a history. His chin is deteriorating. A gust of wind and he does the chicken dance. It's a grudge match. I don't like this guy. It's going to be a first round KO. Mark my words. It's impossible to do what he said he's going to do. I see fear. I see doubt. I've never disliked somebody that much that I've ever fought. I could sense panic in the young boy. He needs an ass whooping like he's about to get. It's going to make him a better person. I will go out and I'll put him stiff. I'm going to put this guy away. He's going to hit the canvas hard. I got hit with a good shot. I got put down. I fought his fight. What's going to be different this time? I'm gonna fight my fight. I was very emotional in that first one. I wanted to hurt the guy. This time I just wanna outsmart him, just wanna beat him, and that's it. This guy has a championship mindset as he goes into this rematch and feels like the first fight was a bit of a fluke. Let's look at my track record. Eddie Alvarez, former champ. Anthony Pettis, former champ. Justin Gagey, former champ. That's a born fighter, ladies and gentlemen. I want to create magic inside the octagon like I have done many times before, but this is going to be something special. Surprise, surprise, the king is back. Oh, he slapped him. Precision beats power and timing beats speed. History has been made. Oh, that looks good. It's my name in history one more time. I'm not in this sport for revenge. I think I can submit him. I think I can knock him out. I've been knocked down and I've climbed back over and over again. At the end of the day, you've tasted that darkness of being KO'd stiff and you will taste it again. It's time! Now go! This fight is a completely different fight. I'm completely different, and I expect the same from him. January 23rd, we're gonna try to hurt each other. Continues to last. I don't feel these people are on my level. When I am committed, I look forward to going back and showcasing my skills to the people. The king is back. You gotta take it from these guys at this level. A lot of people forget about my skill base. I'm gonna go in there and remind them. And it's looking like